Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how you can apply a floating particle effect to your video, all in Premiere Pro. Rightio, so I'm now in Premiere Pro and I've created a new sequence called Timeline. I've imported an image as my artwork, that's this thing here. And I've also imported something called Golden Particles Background. Now this is some video footage of some particles on a lovely warm background. Oh, that's so soothing. And you can find something like this online by searching for particles video or particles footage, or you can even find some that people allow you to download and use on YouTube. So it doesn't matter if it has color because we're going to be removing the color in a moment. And you can import any of your artwork and video footage by going to file down to import and navigating to the file and importing it into the project window here. So I'm going to start by grabbing my image and just dragging this to the timeline. And that's a bit big at the moment. So if I just select this image and go to effect controls and just scale this down a bit, let's go for about 54. And I can just extend this out and then grab that golden particles video and we'll drag this onto our timeline as well on top of our image and we'll just shorten that down and then I can play through this now at the moment all you can see is the video particles and what we're going to do is blend this into the image underneath so the first thing we're going to do is select the golden particles video footage on the timeline and over here, we're going to click on the double arrow here and select effects. Now, if you're on a larger screen, you may have more options here than you can see on mine. I'm working on a smaller resolution just so you can see what I'm doing. So my workspace, well, it's a little bit cramped, but that's fine. We're going to type in, in the effects panel, we'll type in tint. And you can see here that it's listed in the video effects color correction folder, and then we have tint and we're going to grab this effect and drag it onto the golden particles background. And you can see what that does is essentially it just applies the tint and takes out the color by default. So with our particles footage selected, we can go to the effect controls tab at the top, scroll down and we'll see the tint effect listed there. And we can turn this off and on by clicking on the effects icon. And you can even change what the black and the white colors map to. So we could change the black to a red, but we're not going to. We're going to leave this at the moment set to the default map black to black and map white to white and the amount to tint at 100%. Next, what we're going to do is click this little X and instead of tint, we're going to search for levels. And you can see here, video effects, adjust, and there we have levels. And we're going to grab this and drag this effect onto our golden particles background again. And you'll see it applies this effect in the effect controls window. And well, we've got quite a lot of options here. Now, if you're familiar with Photoshop, in there we have a levels dialog box that pops up and it's a lot more visual than this. This is a bit more of a list and you can of course expand these arrows and use the slider here if you prefer. Or you can just grab the number by left clicking and dragging to the left and the right to adjust that. Now I found this to be the easiest way to use this. For me this is a bit more of a, a difficult format to work with. I'm a much more visual person but working with a list is fine. You just do this, you just grab each of these and just see how it affects your image in real time. So similar to in Photoshop, these ones here, all of these dialog boxes adjust the red, the green and the blue represented by RGB. And then we have R for red, green for green, and of course, blue for blue. So if we start adjusting one of the red sliders, we can change that to a bit more of a turquoisey teal color, or we can just adjust the RGB sliders. Now, for your specific video footage that you're using, you may need to have a little bit of a play around with this, but for this one, I've taken out the color, and I'm just going to adjust the black input level and increase this up. So I'm just left clicking and dragging to the right until I'm able to separate the particles that are white from the background that is black. 
So that's the goal here. So whatever sliders you have to adjust within this RGB set of options here, that's the goal to get the particles white and the background black. And then what we can do is play this through and we can just see how it looks, like check that all our video footage works okay. So it's looking good to me. Now this is the magic bit. If we scroll back up with our particles footage selected, we can change the blend mode from normal down to screen. And voila, you'll see it blends those particles over the image that is underneath it. Unless your image is white and then it it might not work as well, but <laughs> this does tend to work over images that have a lot more color in them or might be a bit darker perhaps. But then we can scroll back down and at the moment we have these white particles on top of a very much a, a greeny turquoise kind of image. But if we go and start adjusting the red, green and the blue outputs for example, we can actually change the color of those little particles and actually make them a bit more in keeping with the image. So you can see now they're no longer white. They are in fact much more green turquoise in color and they feel a lot more like they fit with the image. Now, if you have merely three seconds of particle footage or 10 or in this case 15, but you've got a lot of video and you want to extend this out over the course of a few minutes, what you can do is just grab your footage and holding Alt, drag out and create a copy and just butt these up against each other. So we'll just hold Alt, left click and drag. And then when you see this red icon appear where the two different pieces of footage meet, just right click and select apply default transitions. And then you can just click on that transition, that's that yellow bit there, and change this to center at cut. So it will then span across both the left piece of footage and the right piece of footage equally. And we can just click on this duration here and change the seconds to zero. Well, no, those are the milliseconds rather. And change this one here to three. So that's three seconds. So this transition will fade from the first bit of particle footage into the second one over the course of three seconds. And you'll see it widens this transition. So if we then play this from here, you'll see how we have our particles on screen and then it just seamlessly blends. And there we go. That's how to apply a floating particle effect to your video in Premiere Pro. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.